Brian Williams, the director of property of Swire Hotels. How yes, are you? indeed, very well, thank you, very well. How exciting it is, we talked about two years ago about the project when they were just starting. How yeah. exciting it is to have almost the project done. Well, it's always exciting. Um, whenever we open a hotel, I'm, 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 I'm full of anticipation and excitement. Um, in many ways, this is even more exciting because it's our first hotel in the United States and where better could we do it than in Miami? Well, uh, we've had a, a, a Swire group have had a big presence in Miami for uh, over 20 years, um, mostly doing, doing residential development but we've also had an ownership of uh, uh, an investment in the Mandarin Oriental Miami here. Um, so we sort of, it, it was, a, it was ob the obvious place for us to start and we know Miami, my colleagues here know Miami well, they've did an amazing job assembling the site getting the project off the ground and I, I come in and do the hotel. There are several aspects of this that are, that are, that are fairly unique. Um, we have obviously the, the number of guest rooms, but we also have 89 service departments, which we own and not condo. They're fully serviced, fully owned, fully decorated by us. Then we have our um, restaurants, which you know we are um, passionate restaurateurs ourselves. Uh, we're not just hoteliers, we run independent restaurants as well. Um, and we've put a, uh, an Asian garden on the rooftop with Asian tapas food, so uh, sort of Asian finger food called Sugar. We've, had, we've got a collaboration with um, an, the most amazing team of restaurateurs from Uruguay called, uh, called La Huesia, and they're bringing an urban version of their beachside restaurant from Jose Ignacio on the fifth floor here with, with the open Parisia, the wood fired grill, and it is, they are, have done the most outstanding job for us. And couple all that with, you know, with our own uh, people philosophy of how we like to operate a hotel with, 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 with um, very engaged, energetic, bubbly staff. And, and, I, and I've already felt it here. I think they're fantastic. What can you tell us about the architecture? Who was involved in all well, the decoration and architecture of the project? The master plan and the master architect for the whole project has been uh, Architect Tonica, uh, a Miami-based uh, uh, firm of, of great repute. And then um, the interiors of the public areas guest rooms have been done by a New York-based firm called Cloda. And the uh, Quinto, La Regia and Sugar, are, um, so our two main uh, restaurants, have been designed by an LA-based firm called Studio Collective. And I think the combination of all of those parts has produced something quite extraordinary. One of the attractives of these properties are going to be the cutting-edge technology. Yeah. What can we expect about the technology? Well, I mean, uh, several things are, uh, uh, about us which are, I think are very important to, to get through. It, one, one is that a group standard is we give free high-speed internet access. Uh, in all guest rooms and public areas, we, 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 we don't charge for it and we provide a very big uh, uh, technological infrastructure to achieve that. Um, but also, you know, the, we, we've got a lot of energy saving um, um, uh, rooms management systems, so uh, lighting systems and uh, general uh, public area um, uh, environmental controls that we have. Um, and we, we have, uh, we will have coming, we will be having um, uh, smartphone access from your telephone to, to the guest rooms. You, you get a check-in online and get a, a room number. That's not being introduced until September, but it, it is coming. We've put the technology, we put the infrastructure in to do it, and we're looking forward to rolling that out. It's been first in our group that will do that. When can we expect the project to be completely done? The whole of Brickell City Centre will be completed by the end of this year. 